Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan your website to look for common vulnerabilities within the files. Now this isn't going to catch all vulnerabilities, but it's going to catch some of them. And any type of scan that you do is better than doing no scan at all. So I'm currently on a website called unmaskparasites.com, which is one of Securi's websites. And all you have to do is enter your domain name in the search box. So I'm going to enter in wplearninglab.com. I encourage you to enter yours and then click on check. And the results from my website are that it's clean and hopefully yours is as well. But quite often the results are not clean. And just because it says clean here does not mean it actually is because this isn't able to scan for absolutely everything. But it, it scans for a lot of common stuff. So it's just a quick scan. To do a more thorough scan, it's a good idea to get the security, a security plugin or the WordFence security plugin, install them, and then scan your site with those. This is just a really quick one. And I'm just going to show you an example of a result that, that is suspicious. So we had a client recently signed on. Their URL is grayed out because we got to protect our clients. But we're going to take a look at what their results are, and they show as suspicious. So then we go down, we go through the report at the bottom and we check all the different data that this scan provides and we make sure that we address whatever those concerns are that this scan is bringing up. And again, because there's a result here, doesn't mean that that's the only problem your site has. Or just because your site appears as clean, doesn't mean it actually is clean. So this is just one scan of many that you should be doing. Ideally, you have a plugin installed that does a scan right on your server. But even just doing this scan is better than doing nothing at all. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out WPLearningLab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.